Yeah, so the, the oceans are green because um, the oceans contain phytoplankton, which contain chlorophyll, and we have ocean satellites that uh, can measure the greenness or the chlorophyll in the ocean. So the phytoplankton in the oceans are important because they uh, produce uh, half of the oxygen in Earth's atmosphere and they're the base of the marine food chain. Now, this study has run a computer model to simulate the conditions that we'll um, see out through the end of the, this century and they've shown that there are subtle changes in the type of phytoplankton and perhaps the amount of phytoplankton in the ocean that will change uh, the colour of the ocean. But those, those colour changes are quite subtle. And what is it that's um, causing these conditions? When you're saying that they've run a, a series of tests uh, reproducing those conditions, what's causing this? Yeah, so the, um, right now we can measure the chlorophyll concentration in the ocean from satellites. We've been able to do that for um, about 20 years now. And one of the goals of NASA and the European Space Agency uh, for this kind of work is to try and detect uh, small long-term changes in the productivity of the ocean. Um, so far, there's only been very small changes that have been detected, and that's because um, the long-term changes are small and the seasonal and year-to-year -year variability is very large. So what this um, study has shown is that um, although the, the greenness of the, of the ocean, so the total amount of chlorophyll, uh, might only be changing very, uh, by very small amounts, um, what's important is that the type of phytoplankton um, might be changing uh, more dramatically. And so is, it's the is type it, of phytoplankton... Is so, sorry. So is it, sorry to interrupt you. Is it, is it, the, is it warmer oceans uh, and essentially greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that are causing this change of, of chlorophyll levels and phytoplankton? Yeah, it is, so um, at least partly. So there are plenty of areas in the global ocean where warming the ocean um, it makes a, a stronger stratification between the warm surface ocean and the cold deep ocean, and this makes it more difficult to get nutrients into the surface ocean. And there are many places in the global ocean where this study show that that will decrease productivity. But there are also places in the global ocean where productivity will increase, so the amount of chlorophyll will increase um, in places like uh, the polar oceans where ice will disappear and, and phytoplankton will be able to grow. What, what do these changes mean uh, for life under, under the sea? I mean, chlorophyll uh, and phytoplankton are often seen as the base of the marine food chain, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. So, again, the, the overall change in the total amount of chlorophyll seems to be very small, but the types of phytoplankton um, that grow in certain areas in the ocean uh, seems like it will change and that could have consequences for things like fisheries so you know there are certain types of phytoplankton that are conducive to um, large fisheries uh, such as the Peruvian anchovies for instance um, it also might have an impact on the ability of the ocean to take up carbon dioxide right now the oceans are taking up about a quarter to a third of the co2 that we're putting into the atmosphere and if the productivity of the ocean changes that will impact to that ability